MK77, AKA Acetamorin. Is this the new and improved MK677? Some sellers hype it up as the ultra upgrade to MK677, as a fourth generation ghrelin slash GH secretagogue with supposedly better binding, longer action, less hunger. But is that real or is it just marketing gloss? Who knows, my mom took Tylenol. Let's break it down. Let's talk mechanism and biochemistry. MK777 is structurally an analog of MK677, meaning it's engineered around the same ghrelin receptor pathway, i.e. it stimulates endogenous GH release. Now, marketing claims say it has 92% greater binding affinity than MK677 and improved metabolic stability via a fluorinated backbone that resists hepatic breakdown. Some suppliers also claim less appetite stimulation and sustained IGF-1 elevation 18 to 22 hours post-dose. Sounds tempting, right? But these are all claims from vendors. This is not from robust human data. To date, there is no published human clinical trial validating these claims, no peer-reviewed safety, pharmacokinetics, or efficacy in people, and absolutely no insight into any long-term side effects. We don't even have independent verification of the binding affinity claims, nor confirmation that less hunger holds true in real humans under physiologic stress. Since it appears to just be a research chemical for sale on gray market websites, purity and contamination risk are high. Many suppliers label it for research purposes only because God knows they would never be able to sell it legally otherwise. Not that that's ever stopped any of you animals before, but I just have to say it. Now, is the naming just marketing hype? And the answer is probably. The MK prefix, as in MK777, evokes Merck's MK677 lineage, suggesting continuity with pharmaceutical grade research. But there's no public record that Merck ever officially developed MK777. This just appears to be a gray market analog borrowing branding prestige while the actual science is minimal to non-existent. Let's talk potential benefits, if claims hold true. Now, if true, better receptor binding and metabolic stability could mean more efficient GH slash IGF-1 simulation per dose. And if hunger is truly reduced versus MK677, this would make this much more usable in a dieting or cutting phase. But if you believe that just on vendor claims, let me tell you about my girlfriend in Canada. Let's talk about the complete unknown safety profile of this chemical. Contamination or mislabeling risk is high with any research chemical. And even if this does bind to the ghrelin receptor, the ghrelin slash GH axis isn't without side effects. Think insulin resistance, potential increased blood sugar, fluid retention, and potential cardiac stress. And the claims of less hunger may backfire in some individuals depending on dosing and receptor sensitivity. Bottom line, MK77 is a totally speculative high-risk upgrade to MK677. Visually exciting on paper, but lacking human or even basic lab evidence. The naming and the marketing strongly lean towards pure hype. Treat this one as a marketing experiment, not a next-gen upgrade, and take a hard pass. Proceed accordingly.